Welcome to the 2025 Tornado Season Outlook. Tornadoes are one of nature's most fascinating yet devastating forces. Each year, they change lives and landscapes in seconds. This year, tornado activity will be shaped by key atmospheric patterns including a positive North Atlantic Oscillation, otherwise known as an NAO, a positive Northern Pacific Oscillation, known as an MPO, and the Enzo transition from weak La Nina to neutral. Together, these patterns create the potential for a highly active tornado season with shifting risks across Dixie Alley, the Southern Plains, and the Northern Plains. By the end of this video, you'll understand the science behind tornado formation, the regions most at risk, and how to stay prepared. Let us know in the comments, have you experienced a tornado before? What's your safety plan? And don't forget to like and subscribe to stay informed about severe weather updates. Let's dive in. The 2025 tornado season is being shaped by several major atmospheric drivers. First, the positive North Atlantic Oscillation. A positive NAO strengthens the Atlantic jet stream, speeding up storm systems and reducing blocking patterns. This setup promotes severe storm formation in Dixie Alley during February and March. Second, a positive Northern Pacific Oscillation. The positive NPO will send frequent cold air troughs into the Southern Plains. These intrusions clash with Gulf moisture, creating sharp temperature contrasts that drive tornado producing storms, especially in March and April. Third, the Enzo transition. We are transitioning from a weak La Nina phase to a neutral Enzo phase by late spring. The impact, La Nina tends to create widespread tornado outbreaks due to an enhanced polar jet. By contrast, the neutral Enzo focuses on localized but intense tornado events, increasing the likelihood of smaller scale, high impact storms during May and June. This map that you could see I used here was from the Palm Sunday outbreak in 1994. The reason I use it is because it was a positive phase of the MPO, the NAO, and also in a neutral Enzo. As you could see there, primarily in Dixie Alley, there is many devastating tornadoes with 40 deaths. These atmospheric drivers act together to create dynamic and ever-changing risks across the United States. Have you noticed how Gulf moisture or jet stream shifts impact storms where you live? Let us know in the comments. Tornado activity in 2025 will follow a seasonal progression as these atmospheric patterns evolve. February through March, the season begins in Dixie Alley where Gulf moisture and positive NAO patterns drive high storm activity. In April, the Southern Plains enter their peak tornado period, with dry lines triggering supercell storms and long track tornadoes. In May, the Central Plains take over with a focus on Nebraska, Kansas, and Northern Oklahoma. Instability and daytime heating dominate here. And in June to July, the jet stream migrates north, shifting tornado activity to the Northern Plains, including North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota. Each month's risk aligned with changing atmosphere conditions. Is this progression consistent with what you've seen in your area? Let us know. Here's a closer look at tornado risk for 2025. In February and March, moderate activity begins, especially in Dixie Alley. In April, the peak month with over 80% of historically violent tornadoes occurring. In May, High risk continues with a focus on the Central Plains. And in June and July, tornado risk diminished overall, but remains significant in the Northern Plains due to daytime heating and lingering Gulf moisture. The Enzo neutral phase is expected to create localized but intense storms, particularly in May and June. This highlights the importance of staying weather aware throughout the season. Dixie Alley is the focal point of early tornado activity. Key atmospheric drivers, the positive NAO and Gulf moisture combined with cold fronts to produce strong storms. The unique risks, this region frequently experiences nocturnal tornadoes which are harder to detect and respond to. For historical content, events like the 2008 Super Tuesday outbreak remind us of the destructive potential in this region. If you live in Dixie Alley, check your storm shelter plans and ensure your warning systems are operational. What's your go-to preparation step during tornado season? Let us know in the comments. The Southern Plains dominate tornado activity during March and April. The key atmospheric drivers, 
A positive NPO patterns drive cold air intrusions that collide with Gulf moisture, creating dry lines, natural triggers for supercell storms. Peak risks, this region is most vulnerable in April with EF4 and EF5 tornadoes more likely. Events like the Moore tornado in 2013 highlight the importance of preparedness. Preparation tips, ensure you have a storm shelter and monitor NOAA weather radio alerts. Do you live in the Southern Plains? What's your tornado safety plan? Share your advice to help others stay safe. In June and July, tornado activity shifts to the Northern Plains. Key atmospheric drivers, the jet stream's northward retreat combined with daytime heating and Gulf moisture creates conditions for isolated but severe storms. The unique risks, tornadoes in this region are less frequent but can produce large hail and damaging winds. Rural areas make warning decimation more challenging. What's your experience with tornadoes in the Northern Plains? Let us know in the comments. To summarize the 2025 tornado season, first, early tornado activity will focus on Dixie Alley in February and March. Second, the Southern Plains will peak in April with long track tornadoes. Third, localized severe weather will dominate the Central Plains in May. Fourth, the Northern Plains will experience significant storms in June and July. Key takeaways, stay informed with NOAA weather radio and wireless emergency alerts. Update your safety plans and ensure your emergency kit is ready. Remember, localized severe weather can occur even outside peak months. For more information, visit the NOAA Storm Prediction Center at weather.gov. If this video was helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and share with others who need to stay weather aware. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.